Hey, this is Tom. I'm going to show you a quick way to customize uh, images in PowerPoint. So let's say you get an image like this, and this is from a recent presentation I was doing. And I've got this image here. I'm using a wide screen on my slide, but what you'll notice is that uh, the image doesn't fit the slide. And uh, because of this particular image, I really can't scale it. You know, sometimes you can uh, scale the image up or down and have it fit the entire area. Uh, sometimes what I'll do to get it to fit the area is I'll do a control C and then I may, let's just, we'll come to this blank one here. I may go to format the background of the slide and I'll just choose a picture fill and I'll choose the clipboard. And you can see uh, that it ends up filling up the slide. Uh, the only challenge is you can see it's cut off here. So this isn't really what I wanted. So um, what do you do if you end up with an image? So you have an image you like. Uh, what you want to do is uh, keep the gist of the image. Uh, you want it to fit on the slide and uh, you want to have some content room. So I'm going to show you a simple way to kind of create your own uh, content areas with these images. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop the image. Now in this particular case, I kind of was doing a presentation on interactive video. So I don't really need all of this. So this kind of the idea was that I press on a press on something and you're kind of uh, getting some feedback or branching. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop this. So you just double click on the image, go up to crop, and then I'm just going to pull this in a little right here uh, just so I have a margin. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is slide this over. So what I want to do is use this content area here. So I've got plenty of room. The problem is it just doesn't look right. Now you could create a border. So you know some people would do something like this. They may like insert a, a rectangle. Uh, and then if you color pick, so let's go ahead and do a color pick and you grab an image or a color from the from the image, uh, you might get something that kind of looks like it belongs. And, and that works. But what if you actually want it to look like uh, the entire image? So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a sliver uh, from this image. So I'm just going to duplicate the image. And what I want to do is crop it so I just get a sliver right here. Now this is only going to work if you have a pretty solid area. So what I'm going to do now, let's go ahead and crop it. And I'm going to crop it down here. I'm just going to kind of keep it like this. And so I've got this sliver. Now I'm just going to stretch the sliver. And as you can see, for the most part, this actually works pretty well. You can't even really tell where it blends. Now what you do get, because it's being stretched, you get this kind of, it almost looks like a brushed metal here. I don't know if you can see it in the screencast. So what I can do here to get rid of the brushed metal look is I'll just come over here and I can apply a blur to that. And so it kind of smooths, smoothens, smooths the image out. Uh, so now it looks like it all belongs to a single image. Now let's do it from the opposite direction to show you uh, how you can't do it. So I'm going to delete this. So if we wanted to have the image like this and we want to stretch this out, um, let me go back and crop. Uh, what I would need to do is I would need to get like a sliver here. The problem here is that it's not smooth. So like on the on this side of the image, it was smooth. On this side, we've got some texture. So for example, if I crop this here, you can see it stretches all of that out so it doesn't look right. And and no matter how much blurring you do to this, it's really not going to look like it belongs in there. So in this case, one side of the image works and one side of the image doesn't. But anyway, that's a simple way to stretch your image, crop a little bit different, and stretch it so you have some content or you have a content area to put some content in.